Okay, now we're going to reassemble this thing. So what we're going to put in here are the um, the two shelves and the two separators, the top spring and the two small springs here. These springs here are the ones that are going to take off on you. You begin by putting them into the holes that are in the shelves. The shelves, you'll notice, are face this part faces upwards. You put the two springs in, one in each hole, and then you put the other clip, feed it onto the other two holes, which are in the other part, and then you're going to look something like this. This is where it's going to want to get away from you. And by the way, you put the uh, turntable just temporarily back into the uh, motor board because you don't want this to be pushed up in the air. See this? If that gets pushed up in the air, it won't let you put this back on. So I turn this till it's exactly pointing toward the two holes. And then I drop this down onto here, get the springs down there. Okay, that's the easy part. The next part is to put the two separators. You have to interlock these two things. They'll only fit one way, just like that. So that they look like that, so that the two grabber tangs are facing down into the bakelite parts. You just drop them down on here, and you make sure that one of them is in one side and one of them is in the other side. It takes some practice. Don't be, you know, don't get discouraged with it. You'll have to press in on the uh, the, the the shelves a little bit against the springs and keep your fingers at all times close by on the uh, thing so they don't escape. And once you get them in here. You can see this is not even even as many of these hundreds of these I've done. It's still difficult. Okay, it's all laying down on here nicely. Now you want to take this top clip and gently, very gently, because you can break this, separate it so that it grabs into each one of these, into the slot on each one of the metal separators, and it's going to stick up in the air like that. Now comes the part you're going to be real careful of. You take the top cap and you notice that there's two holes. Okay, this is where, I, by the way, I told you it cracks inside here. You see the tiny crack there? They all do that. And it's because they microscopically shrink over the years and they shrink and then they crack. But they won't, they're not going to be loose or anything. You just have to be mindful of it. Don't over tighten the screws. Now, you line up the two holes and you would even watch as you put this on here to make sure that the this top the top of this spring gently goes into the thing without pushing it off to the side. Easier said than done. Be careful of it. And there. Once you get it locked down on here, keep it with one finger as you grab the spindle with two other free fingers. Hopefully you have at least three fingers on each hand. And then take it back out of the turntable. Put the turntable over to the side because you don't need that right now. Then keeping it in place at all times, flip it upside down, drop your two screws into the holes, and stick it in, screw it in, hopefully, come on now, there we go, there's one, all right, I'm, I'm uh, past the, uh, the panic, or the danger point right now. Okay, get you in there. Shake it around a little bit and it'll drop right down into the, into the hole. And you take your little pocket screwdriver and you screw this down into here like this. And it'll keep falling off the, the head of the screw, of course, because that's what they do. That's what's nice about Phillips head screws. Okay, that's down in there the way it's supposed to be. This is down where it's supposed to be. Okay, now it's time to take a look at it. Now, when you cycle this through, and before you put this back in the machine, be mindful that this is going to want to go up inside the red cap. You want to pull downwards on it as you turn it, and then try it and see how it turns. Look how smooth that is. Make sure that the uh, bottom shelf comes out as the top shelf, the separator, goes out to hold the records up. Make sure it happens on both sides, and there it is, just as good as new. Now comes the time for the oil. You'll know in the hole that the uh, the screw set goes in, that's also an oil port. So what you want to do with that is just dribble a couple of drops of 3-in-1 oil, nothing else, 
and put it right in that hole. I'd, I'd say three drops is good, and that's all. Don't put it, and then work it in. And that's nice and smooth, and it should, you know, be, it should feel nice and smooth, nothing holding it back, and that's it. The turntable is done. That's it.